It's a book about teamwork and it's a great reminder how important we all are to each other. Teamwork, companionship, uh, empathy for one another, uh, really just combined together to make such a great group of friends. And if ever there was a time a young man needed family and friends. Uh, three years ago, going on four years, um, in 2017, um, in the summer, uh, I lost my hand uh, to a meat grinder. It was days and days in a children's hospital, surgeries, recovery. A lot of it was just one day at a time. A group of six friends. Ben, Jack, Will, Parker. Add in Ben and Ridley and a book about them, Squirrel Team 6, that helped Ridley keep his head and heart in the long game. Uh, I think it's a great way of showing how uh, no matter what um, each of us is going through, um, there's always some support there. Um, and we don't necessarily have to say that to each other. We always find a way to um, support each other and communicate mostly through sports. The boys are there for each other, and their dads knew that others could be helped by the positive message of how important another kind of team is, a group of buds that makes everything that happens good or challenging easier to handle. They began late one night up near Bridger Bowl while Squirrel was out on his nightly patrol. And then he gets into some trouble. <laughs> The main value um, that I hope that people take from the book is that you're stronger together and then just by yourself. Um, and it really takes a team uh, to do good things. And I think the thing that I'm most proud of in that was having Steve help me and I think we got to a point and have delivered a, a, a book here where you can feel that emotion as you're looking through the pages, the, the gratitude, the, the fear, all of these different things that come with, you know, not being part of a team and then of course being part of a team. Squirrel Team 6 is available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble right now but you can get it from our local bookstores they will order it for you plus the author and illustrator will be at the Christmas stroll this year and the proceeds from that night will go to Eagle Mount and to the Challenged Athletes Foundation. In Bozeman, Donna Kelly, MTN News.